Anna Rook telling the New York Times the governor tried to kiss her at a New York City wedding reception in 2019. And then sharing this photograph, she says, was captured on her cell phone that night by a friend. Rook saying that when Governor Cuomo put his hand on her bare lower back, she, quote, promptly removed his hand with my hand. According to the paper, the governor remarked that she seemed aggressive and placed his hands on her cheeks. He asked if he could kiss her. Sweet Jesus, man, what are you doing? I mean, on the one hand, asking women for consent before you kiss them is what you're supposed to do, but the other part of consent is waiting for them to answer. You don't just grab them by the face like a bear yanking on a beehive. I mean, look at this photo. How can you not tell that you're making this person uncomfortable? If you're doing something to someone that turns them into the emoji, you have done something wrong. And what's so brazen about it is that he's doing it right in front of everybody in the middle of a wedding. So now I wanna know, was he doing this the whole night? You know, are the bride and groom gonna be looking at their wedding photos like, Oh, honey, here's the picture of you smearing the cake on my face. Oh, and there's the one of Governor Cuomo licking it off. And by the way, it's not like this happened in like 1992 and he could be like, well, it was a different time. This was in 2019. If you're a public official doing this kind of thing after the Me Too movement, either you just can't help yourself or you're so dumb you shouldn't be in office anyway. So in light of these allegations, Cuomo is now facing even more calls to resign. Although if these allegations prove anything, it's that Cuomo doesn't go away when you want him to. But let's move on, because while Governor Cuomo clearly hasn't adapted to the changing times, one of your favorite authors from childhood is trying to. Breaking news, the organization that preserves the legacy of author and illustrator Dr. Seuss says it will stop publishing six titles because of racist imagery. Dr. Seuss Enterprises says the books portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. The six books being banned include And to Think, That I Saw It on Mulberry Street, If I Ran the Zoo, Miguel Agat's Pool, On Beyond Zebra, Scrambled Egg Super, and The Cat's Quizzer. There are some examples of racist imagery in those books. For example, there's a character that's described as a Chinese man who eats with sticks, and the depiction of that character has a pointed hat, slanted slit eyes. In another book, two men said to be from Africa are shown shirtless, shoeless, wearing grass skirts as they carry exotic animals. Wow, okay. So what, we're just gonna cancel Dr. Seuss books just because they're racist? Uh, then what are the racist kids gonna read, huh? You didn't think of that, did you? You know the real problem with Dr. Seuss is that all of his made up words sound like they could be racial slurs. I mean, a zelf on a shelf? The nubbards in the cupboards? Shit, I don't know what that means, but if a white person calls me a nubbard, we're throwing down. And look, I know that this thing was blowing up and it was trending all over Twitter, but there's always gonna be people on Twitter telling you that this is the end of civilization because fanning the flames of culture wars is how they get attention. But let's be honest about what's happening here. An organization is making a decision on its own that they don't wanna be associated with their own outdated and offensive imagery. That's not being canceled. That's something that companies and organizations do all the time. Like at some point, Coca-Cola was like, hey, maybe putting cocaine in our drink is harmful to the public. Maybe we should stop doing that. Nobody called that cancel culture. And despite what everyone tells you, everyone does this all the time, including CPAC. Yeah, the home of freedom! Just a couple of weeks ago, they canceled a speaker for his anti-Semitic views. Oh, but I guess that was just them looking out for the brand. Yeah, it only becomes cancel culture when it's something you disagree with. 